Hello and welcome. As we are going to continue our uh, curriculum next week, it's very important to understand what level you are. So today we are going to take an online placement test together. So here you can type Cambridge placement test or you can find any other placement test you want. So test your English. So here we have four different tests, general English, or for school, or business English, or for young learners. Of course, we will take the general English. For the questions below, please choose the best option to complete the sentences or conversation. Can I park here? Sorry, I did that. It's the same, only for half an hour. Of course, the answer is only for half an hour. Can I park here? So he is asking for permission, or uh, is it possible or not possible? Is it legal or not legal? Can I park here? So he answers him, only for half an hour. So you can't park for more than 30 minutes. What color will you paint the children's bedroom? I hope it was right. We can't decide. It wasn't very difficult. We can't decide which color to paint the children's room. I can't understand this email. Would you like some help? Don't you know? I suppose you can. So your friend is telling you, I can't understand this email. So why is he telling you that? Of course, because he needs help. So you offer him help. Would you like some help? Do you want me to help you to understand this email? I'd like two tickets for tomorrow night. How much did you pay? Afternoon and evening, I'll just check for you. Of course, I'll just check for you. So this is a conversation, two people speaking. So he is asking for two tickets for tomorrow night. So I can't say how much did you pay. This is in the past. Afternoon and evening, no. He already told him that he wants the tickets for the night. So I'll just check for you if the tickets are available. Shall we go to the gym now? I am too tired. It's very good. Not at all. Of course, I am too tired. It means I can't go to the gym because I am tired. Not at all. We use it when somebody thanks you for doing something for them. So I say thank you. You say not at all. Don't mention it. His eyes were bad that he couldn't read the number plate of the car in front. Such too, so very, of course, so. His eyes were so bad that he couldn't. So this is the result for the uh, adjective. His eyes were so bad. Okay, so what happened that he couldn't read? Uh, if we want to use two, we should say two. His, uh, his eyes were too bad to read. Such, we use a. Uh, very, we don't use very with that. Uh, the company needs to decide one cent for all. One cent for all. This is a famous expression. It means we must do it now, and then it's going to stay like this forever. One cent for all. Uh, what is position on this point? Don't put your cup on the of the table. Someone will knock it off. Edge. We took this two days ago, three days ago, when we were talking about the knife. So we said the edge of the knife. So, for example, I have a plate. So this is the edge of the plate. So edge. Someone will knock it off. If somebody is on the edge, it means he is very nervous, so leave him today. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. Uh, the singer ended the concert with her most popular song. 
So we always say finish on a high note. Keep your best for the last. So end it with. Would you mind these plates a wipe before getting them in the cupboard giving? So give it a wipe, wipe them. Uh, I was looking forward at the new restaurant, but it was closed. Forward to eating. Uh, forward to, after forward to, we use a gerund. So gerund, eating. But it was closed. Uh, of course, because this is also in the past. So, uh, for example, if I'm talking about the future, we usually say, uh, I look forward to work with you. But this was in the past, so I was looking forward to eating at the new restaurant. Tired. Melissa is when she gets home from work. She always makes time to say goodnight to the children. Uh, no matter how. It means it's, it's not really important or it doesn't matter how much Melissa is tired. She will always say goodnight to the children. So this is something that she always does, no matter how tired. It was only 10 days ago she started her new job that... We call it that sentence, it's very important, and we can't delete it. It was only 10 days ago that she started her new job. The shop didn't have the shoes I wanted, but they have a pair specially for me uh, ordered. So we say place your order when you want to make uh, shopping. We can also say, uh, place your bets. So they have ordered a pair specially for me. Sixteen. Have you got time to discuss your work now or are you to leave? Are you about to leave? So you, you are getting ready to leave. He's about to leave. So he will leave in five minutes. She came to live here a month ago, almost a month ago, like about, about a month ago. Once the plane is in the air, you can, your seat belts, if you wish, unfasten. Because you say fasten your seat belts, so unfasten your seat belts. Uh, I left my last job because I had no opportunity to travel. Uh, opportunity, like chance. I had no chance to travel. Uh, they didn't give me this opportunity. It wasn't a bad crash and damage was done to my car. Little damage. Little damage was done to my car. Mir means only. Light and small, we don't use them with damage. We can also say minimum damage. Okay, I'd rather you to her why we can't go. I would rather you explained to her why we can't go. So he didn't explain to her, and I think this was a mistake. He should have explained to her. Before making a decision, the leader considered all of the argument, all sides of the arguments. So you have an argument, so which side are you? So he considered all sides of the argument. This new printer is recommended as being highly reliable. So reliable, dependable, it, it doesn't break down, it keeps working. 
highly reliable. Uh, when I realized I had dropped my gloves, I decided to my steps retrace. It means go back, go back to uh, every place you went. So let's say that you went to work, then you went to the restaurant, then you went home. At home, you realized you have lost your gloves. So you go back the same way to the restaurant and then the same way to your work. Retrace your steps. As house is somewhere in the, of the railway station vicinity. Vicinity, it means the area around the place, vicinity. Region, we usually use it geographically, like, for example, the Gulf region, the Middle East region, the Anadolian region. Uh, quarter, this is usually when we talk about the army, like a, a fenced place. District, no, this is uh, district usually when we talk about uh, municipality and stuff. So, 25 questions, get result. Please be good, please be good, please be good. Yay! So, what inspires you to learn English? <laughs> I'm a teacher, actually. So, try to take this test or another test. I actually don't know if they change the questions or not. So, if they don't change the questions, Please try another test and post your results for me. Good luck.